Recording in progress. Hello friends, welcome to Fox U Tech. So today we're gonna see another important topic. So which is nothing but JIT webhook. So as we are using mostly most of the JIT uh, repositories and we may use different different vendors. So the vendors can be GitHub or GitLab or Bitbucket or Bitbucket server or anything, right? Or Gogos. So anything we can use. So sometimes as we are doing even automation with the Argo CD, so few things we need to be immediately done like uh, sync, right? So if you are putting anything on your repository, sometimes your expectation may be my, whatever I'm pushing, it has to be updated immediately to the Argo CD. Right. So there is a two way you can do it. One, you can just uh, create a sync and you can just, it will take care of everything by the Argo CD. Right. But again, if you put automated, so there will be a certain delay is expected. You can see it here. So this was the change and this is its director and updated. But when you see the events, there will be a certain delay as there is a Sync operated 24 second and it has been updated on within a minute or so, right? Why? Because the Argo CD has a default sync time delay is three minutes, right? Whenever you sync, make any change in your JIT, it takes three minutes to update it to the Argo CD. So yeah, you can just customize it, few other changes and you can reduce that as it's going to be a viral change as it's you have to change it on the Argo CD core platform like reducing your time time delay right so another interesting or another way you can do this how you can do that as we know mostly our JIT right so it's providing a web books so with the web books you can achieve it easily okay so you may say I have made a change six minutes before but when you have seen here so the event was triggered up two minutes before. So as there is a delay, right? So the delay, delay should not be there always because sometimes we may need to do it quickly. Let me refresh my application again. So let's go to the events and you can see there is a just triggered two minutes before because the sync was done six minutes. So this kind of delay is expected. Sometimes we are okay, but some cases we cannot be accept this kind of delays. So we may need some certain quick solutions. So to achieve that, so you can use any kind of project with the web books. With the web books, it's easily we can manage it. So how it will work. So let's see that. I'm going to create a web book here. So this is my Argo City instance, right? So this will be like this. And if you are creating a web book, it should create in the API and we should for and find its web book. Okay. Another thing with Argo City, if you are creating the content type always should be application JSON, otherwise it will be failed. Okay. So secret in case as I'm using a public one, I'm going to create a secret to make sure no one is make using of this web book. Right. So what I'm doing here, secret I'm creating, I'm just showing as a Puxy tag, right? So as I don't have HTTPS, I'm not going to say don't check this. I'm going to disable this as a verification and push notification and it's going to be active. Okay. So let's create it. Add a book. So once you created the web book, you can see there will be a ping event will be sent. Unfortunately, that will be failed because it shows some error. But that doesn't matter. Our use case will be, it has to be trigger the changes. Okay. So now you can see this is done and I'm going to go to the my report manifest file. This is a manifest, it's configured here. You can see it in this uh, last configuration. Sorry. This is the one and this is a path, Argo CD, sync waves and this is a manifest, it's been picked. Okay. So in this manifest, what I'm doing, there is a replica that I have. I'm going to change it to five. Let's go with high number issues. Okay, so now I'm just going to do the commit and the commit has been done. Immediately you can see the sync has been started. So when you go to your web book and just refresh this page and you should see this will be grayed out because its sync is still in progress. So once the sync is completed successfully, you could see this, it's completely, it's picked the changes. You can see it's synced. 
and this change has been updated here even. And if you just click on this payload, Sorry, click on this web book again. I just missed the tab. Okay, so when you do edit, you can see written deliveries, whatever has been done. So if you see the payload, it will say what it has been done and what change it has pushed, right? You can see it here. There is a modified manifest. This is the workload has been updated. Okay. So this is how you can do this and the response code should be always 200. If it's something else, then it will be problem with your network or something. There will be a possibilities. Okay. So always concentrate on the response code. If you are getting any kind of a different response code, please validate why it's happening. Okay, so mostly what from our observation, it could be the network issue. Maybe this GitHub is not able to reach to the appropriate repositories. Okay, your repository and your connection is not established. That's the only reason you could see this happens. Okay, so you can just give the secure password, leave it. Okay, so otherwise, even though it's going to be fail and it's going to do. So in case, as explained in this block, so if you wish to create uh, secrets in your, you want to store it, store the secret. So please use this data secret key should be like this for if you're using GitHub or GitLab or Bitbucket, Bitbucket server or Gogos, you have to give like this and as explained in this. So create a string data. So you no need to convert this to be a base 64 or something. You can just just you can put as a whatever the value you given so what uh, argo city does it will automatically convert the secret to the base 64 format so how it can be done so let me show you so as i created the book for this i'm going to create this with my secret so let me open this cube ctl edit Secret Argo CD secret is the file we have to edit. Argo CD is my namespace. So here I'm gonna add this string data colon and the value is whatever we given. It's a tech. Okay. So I'm saving this, this file has been updated. When you see again, so you could see this is automatically converted to the different term and this is how we can use it, okay? So now this will be a secured one and you can enable the sync and this should be helpful for you guys, okay? So what we achieved here as if you are doing in without webbook, so there is a three minutes delay is there and we want to make it very quick as per your organization requirement. So you can enable this webbook as explained in this. So you can make use of the webbook also. So hope you guys know how to go to the webbooks. So you have to go to the repository and go to the settings and you can create the webbooks for the GitHub. Similar will be there for respective vendors like a GitLab or Bitbucket, right? So they do provide a webbook option. You can make use of the webbook option for your organization sync policies okay hope this video is useful guys please let us know if you have any feedback or any clarification so we can try to help you guys thank you have a good day bye bye